y'all feel like you got the victory. You ought to show some signs. You ought to clap a little bit. You ought to stand to the Lord and say thank you. Stand up and say thank you. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory. This is the day the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice. We're going to thank the Lord. We're going to act like we got a victory. Yes. Yes. How many of y'all had a rough week? How many of y'all glad God brought you through? You got a victory. How many of y'all had a few aches and pains? They ain't there anymore. You got a victory. Yes. This is the day. We will be led to the throne of grace by the Reverend Eugenia Pollard Sanchez, followed by the scripture readings. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. This morning, our Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you with thanksgiving in my heart, telling you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for another day. Thank you, Lord God, how you washed over us while we slept and slumbered last night. Oh, God, we come this morning with thanksgiving in our heart, telling you, thank you, Lord, for one more day's journey. Thank you, Lord, for another day of new mercy. Lord, had you not been on our side this morning, where would we be? Lord, we know that life is a journey. We all have our ups and our downs. Sometimes we are up against the mountains. Sometimes we are down in the valleys. But Lord, we realize that as long as we hold our hand with your hand, as we touch your hand, Lord, and you touch our hand, everything, not something, Lord, but everything will be all right. Come, Holy Spirit, heavenly dove, with all thy quickening power, kindle a frame of sacred love in these cold hearts of ours. Lord God, we come this morning saying, show us the way. Show us the way, Lord. We come saying, lead us and guide us, God. For, Lord, without your guidance, we wouldn't know what to do. Lord, you are our shepherd. You are our leader, and we shall not want. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for the conditions of this world, Lord. Lord, you made it, and you said that everything was good. But, Lord, because of the sins of man, God, Lord, it looks like it's going to haywire. Lord God, we pray for the president of these United States. Lord God, we pray that you would save him while he's in the White House, God. Oh, God, we pray for each family represented here this morning, God. Everybody has a need, God. Whatever the need is, God. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. And supply the need. Somebody, Lord, need a blessing of finance this morning. Somebody needs a blessing of comfort this morning. Lord God, we pray for marriages this morning. Oh God, have mercy on us. Lord, we pray for the church universal, Lord. Because Lord, sometimes, Lord, I remember in the old neighborhood when the church was the center of everything. But now, Lord, now, Lord, now, Lord, it appears that it has taken a, an about face, God. Don't worship the way we used to worship, Lord. Don't attend the way we used to attend, God. Lord God, have mercy. And Lord, where there is strife, envy, jealousy, Lord, bind it up, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the sick man of this house, God. In the name of Jesus, crown him, Lord. 
crown him with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, dear God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. We need your presence this morning. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in the sanctuary this day, God. Oh, God, we come from many different walks of life. But, oh, God, we all pray to you, God. Stretch forth your hand, dear God. Touch us, Lord. Touch us, Lord. Move, Lord, in a mighty way, God. Have mercy this morning, Lord. Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. Feed us, Lord. Feed us, Lord. Feed us, Lord. Feed us until we want no more. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Have mercy, Lord, on the conditions, Lord. On the conditions. So much killing, Lord. Family members killing each other, God. In the name of Jesus. Family members killing innocent babies, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, I pray. God, God, we need to hear from you. We need to hear from you, God. Our churches need to hear from you, God. Lord, our households need to hear from you, God. Oh, Lord God, our cities, Lord. Our states need to hear from you. And oh, God, we may, I pray right now that you will make a way, God, for the destruction, Lord, that's in the Carolina area, God. Have mercy, I pray. Lord, last year was our time, God. But Lord... You made a way for us. Now, Lord God, make a way for them, God. For, Lord God, we know that everything that they need, God, that you have it. Make a way, God. We pray, pray for bereaved families this morning, God. Those we know and we, those we don't know. Lord God, we pray for every sick and shutting, God. Known and unknown, God. And help us, God. Help us, God. Help us to be the church, God, that you are calling for in the last day, God. Because, Lord, we don't know when, we don't know where, God. Help us take the time, God, to say a word to each other, God. Have mercy, I pray, God. Oh, God, oh, God, fill us, Lord. Fill us with your love, God. Fill us with your care and concern for others, God. Lord, God. Lord God, Lord God, when we leave this place today, let us be a better person, a better people than we were, Lord, when we walked through the doors this morning. Fill us up, God. Fill us up. Fill us up, God. Fill us, Lord. Fill us. Glory to your name, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We come to present the sacrifices to you, God. In the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, I pray in every heart, say amen, amen, amen. Let the church... Let the church say it. Let the church say it. Amen. God has spoken. Amen. Say it, say it, say it. Let the church say amen again. Amen. amen.
done. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. I was sitting in the back listening to Reverend Sanchez's prayer. It's too quiet. It's not time for quietness. <laughs> it's time for the church to say amen. But when you say amen, you're saying you're in agreement with something. But, but, but right now, I'm not in agreement with a lot that's going on. So when we say amen, let us do it to the power and will of God. Let's not be so sad. It's time of happiness. Praise be to God. Our scripture comes to us this morning from the ninth chapter of Genesis, first book of the Bible, beginning with the first verse. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall upon all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of the air, upon every creature that moves along the ground, and upon all the fish of the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything, everything. But you must not eat meat that has its lifeblood still in it. And for your lifeblood, I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each man too. I will demand an accounting for the life of his fellow man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made man. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number. Multiply on the earth and increase upon it. To God be the glory. If you're blessed and you know it, clap your hands. If you blessed and you know it, stand to your feet and say thank you. See, Reverend Harris had a point, you know. It's a bit too quiet in here. It's celebration time. We're celebrating an almighty God. And everybody ought to have a hallelujah. And everybody ought to shout amen. Yes. Thank you. I feel a little bit better. The spirit wants to move in here and change some things. Want to make some miracles happen. You got to be able to receive that. Yes. Thank you very much for cooperating. I like y'all because y'all obedient. I like you. Amen. Amen. That's all right. See, the whole spirit atmosphere changed. You can feel it in the atmosphere. That choir you said, you can feel it in the atmosphere. See, because God is already here. Can't you feel his presence? All you have to do is open up your heart. Get on board. 
Shout hallelujah every now and then. Praise God every now and then. Just show a sign every now and then. That's all that's required. Because it's like fire. It'll go from one person to the next. And whereas you might not be able to shout, you might want to wave your hand. You might want to scream. Somebody might even want to dance. It's all about God. That's why we're here. Yes. It's the time of the service that we take not lightly. Our recognition of visitors and the announcements of what's happening around the church. And all of us want to know what's happening. A member of the Courtesy Guild, will you please come? Praise the Lord, everybody. And when praises go up, blessings come down. We've come now to the part of our service where we are going to pause and acknowledge our visitors. If there are any visitors here today, will you please stand and remain standing? Amen. To all of our visitors, on behalf of our powerful preaching pastor, the Reverend Dr. Mark Edward Crutcher, Lady Crutcher, the entire ministerial staff, the officers and members of Mount Olive African Methodist Episcopal Church, it is a pleasure for me to welcome you here today. Of all the churches in the area, you chose Mount Olive, and we're just glad you're here. We here at Mount Olive pride ourselves as being spirit fed, spirit filled, spirit fed, and spirit led. We're the perfect place for imperfect people. We're large enough to serve you, but we're small enough to care. If you're looking for a church home, we invite you to join here with us. We know you never outgrow the need for God, and we here at Mount Olive want to help you meet that need. You'll be among those who love the Lord, and everybody is somebody here at Mount Olive, and Jesus Christ is Lord. So please come again, because you are welcome. Amen. We're located here at 2525 West Church Street, where Church Street ends. And church began. And Pastor Crutcher would love to be your pastor. So please come again. Good morning, Mon Olive. The announcements are as follows. All financial vouchers are to be completed by the third Sunday of each month for the following month. The Ma Olive AME Church Evangelism Team invites you to join us for the National Back to Church Sunday on September the 16th, which is actually today. The vision of the National Back to Church Sunday is to create a movement of churches engaging their members to invite every person in America back to church. So we're glad to see everyone in the house today. We here at Mount Olive are excited to host the 119th session of the Central Central Annual Conference. The dates are September the 29th through October 5th. Please note, on September 22nd from 8.30 to 10.30, there will be a volunteer orientation. So if you have signed up to volunteer, please be at that orientation. And also today at 4 p.m., we have the Crutcher 2020 Vision Kickoff Celebration. Let's give that a hand. The celebration will begin at 4 p.m., and the guest preacher will be Bishop A.J. Richardson, presiding 11th Episcopal District. Please, please join us as we embark on this journey with Pastor as he goes for the position of Executive Director of Church Growth and Development. So again, that's 4 p.m. today right here at my Olive AME. The Annual Conference Culinary Committee is reaching out 
to the homemade cake, pies, peach cobblers, banana pudding, bread puddings. So if that's you, if you know you have that hand and that Southern cooking, please see Reverend Harris or Sister Brenda Joyce Cornelius to let them know that you would love to bake us something good. And the lay will meet briefly following the 10 a.m. worship service in, in the fellowship hall. And also October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So members who are cancer survivors, or if you have friends, if you have family members who are deceased, please see Sister Deborah Harvard. And she um, will be planning that. And she needs that information by Sunday, October the 7th. As you go throughout this week, remember to pray about it as much as you talk about it. I know sometimes, um, even myself, we have a tendency to talk with our family, we talk with our friends, but did we pray about it as much as we talk about it? So as you go throughout this week, don't forget, pray about it as much as you talk about it. Have a great week. Thank you, thank you, Brother Fred. Uh, and Sister Ronisha has done an excellent job. There's nothing she didn't do right. But I, I, I got to go a little further on this uh, homemade cake, pies, peach cobbles, banana puddings. I know you're hiding out there. You're pretending you didn't learn anything. Yes, you did. Because you played in the kitchen. You learned how to do some things. I, I, I see they took it out. But if at all possible, we may need to go there, but if all possible, uh, uh, let's do homemade, real from scratch, so that we can keep our reputation. Because we have a reputation for real southern cooking. Help me to do that. Now, next Sunday, you're going to have a big board poster outside so you can sign up. Tell tell us what you're going to be bringing, because Sister Brenda is really, Brenda Joyce Cornelius is really looking at me cross-eyed. Uh, with, uh, so you got to help me so she won't look at me like that, okay? And we want to make our pastor and our first lady look good, okay? Thank you. Now, men, we're not excluding you. That's why we said bakers, because some men do bake, all right? Thank you. Let's give Reverend Harris a hand and bring out those homemade desserts. Amen. I want to lift up because today is National Back to Church Sunday, and we want to recognize the family this morning who actually followed instructions and have their family assembled this morning. And um, we want to see what family has the most family and friends assembled today. Amen. So how many, look around, count your friends and family members, and ha how many of you have at least 20 family and friends? Oh, oh, yours on the way. Your, okay, they, they're coming on there a little bit later on. How many, how many I'm going to do like Abraham. He, he went on down. What, what do we just got? Fifteen. Fifteen. Raise your hand if you got at least fifteen. All right, stand up if you got fifteen. All fifteen, stand up. All right. And this is the Anthony family. Amen. The Anthony family and friends. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, anybody got at least 10? 10. Okay. This is the Hunt family over here. Okay. Okay. How many of you got a seven? Eight. Okay, hey, I'm sorry. How many you got? Eight. All right. Okay. We got more than eight? You got more than eight? Okay. That's the Celeste Holmes and Hartfield family back there. Amen. Okay. So our first prize winner today is the Anthony family. Let's get Anthony a hand. Woo! 
Second place, the Hunt family. Woo. And third place, the Holmes and Hartfield family. Amen. All right. And, and we will have something special to give each one of these families at a later date. Amen. Let's continue to invite our family and friends to come every Sunday because we know that a family that prays together stays together. Amen. Good morning, church. And why am I here before you again? To get out the what? Well, no, that's not why I'm here before you this morning. Actually, I'm here to present a friend of mine who will become before you to get out the vote. Let us welcome Pastor Marcus McCoy, and he's from the FRCC. He's going to talk to you about restoration of rights. Let's give him a hand as he comes from Get Out the Vote. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord to everyone. Amen. We honor the name of the Lord on this morning for the Bible declares that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run in and they are safe. Amen. We give honor and deference to the pastor and lead shepherd of this house. Can we thank God for Pastor Crutcher? Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together for him. We can do better than that. Come on, let's thank God for the man of God for this house. That's right. That's right. We honor him and for all the work that he does within our community. So thankful for Minister Andrews for this time that he has allotted me. Again, my name is Pastor Marcus McCoy Jr. I serve as the Director of Community and Congregational Affairs for an organization based out of Orlando that is statewide entitled Faith in Florida. And with that organization, we have partnered with uh, the Let My People Vote campaign to encourage communities to get out and vote in this midterm election. Uh, there are many uh, campaigns that you will hear about uh, encouraging people to vote, but they focus on high propensity voters. But this campaign that we are leading is a low propensity voter campaign. What that means is that we're focusing on communities that are registered to vote, but they don't normally vote. And so we want um, volunteers, amen, to join in with Mount Olive, uh, Minister Andrews, to help us encourage individuals to vote. And so how you can do that, Minister Andrews, I, I believe he's already encouraged you in many different ways, but he has uh, uh, cards that you can fill out, that you yourself can fill out, and then you can encourage others to fill out as well. I believe the ushers, amen, have them in their hands. And then secondly, we do two things. There are two major events or activities that help in election cycles. One is phone banking and the second is canvassing. And so a phone bank is uh, individuals will call a list of numbers in the community and encourage them to vote. That's all a phone bank is. And then secondly is a canvassing where we go out into the community and encourage people to vote. And Minister Andrews has uh, agreed that Mount Olive will be participatory in both the phone banking and the canvassing but we need your help. So if you would like to be a part of both the phone banking and or the canvassing, just see Minister Andrews and sign up. Uh, we're beginning this week and we'll go all the way into November. Secondly, I want to encourage you about an amendment that is on the ballot. Um, it's uh, Second Chances Amendment Number 4. And this amendment allows the restoration of rights for returning citizens who have committed non-felony offenses, both in the area of sexual offenses or murder. So these are individuals who have done things and they want their rights restored, uh, but currently they cannot get their rights restored. But if this amendment passes, and we believe by the grace of God, on November the 7th, we will have victory that all of these people, to the number of 1.4 million people, will have their rights restored. But we need you to vote. Now, Mount Olive, you can give God a hand clap of praise for that. <laughs> now, Mount Olive was very instrumental in getting the amendment on the ballot, but we need your help. Just look at somebody and say, we need your help. 
We need your help to get this passed. So please encourage your families and your communities, all of those within your sphere of influence, that we need to vote yes on Amendment 4. Thank you so much for this time. I'm currently pastor of Greater Refuge Memorial Church in downtown Orlando, so my service starts just in a little minute. Thank you so much for this time that you have allotted me. God bless. Let's give him another hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Marcus. And I, if you have to leave, I know you have a service that's coming up. You may quietly excuse yourself. But thank you. Give him another hand. Amen. If you need voter registration applications, this is what I hold. On last week, we identified six people that needed voter registration applications. Please see me immediately after service. If you have a child who is 18 years or older and they're not registered to vote and you need a registration application, please see me immediately after service. Amen? If your child's birthday falls after November the 6th, your child may not vote until the next election. If your child's birthday falls before November 6th, see me so they can get an application. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Can we please have all children for children's church? All children for children's church. Let the church say amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Let those redeemed in the Lord say hallelujah. Those who believe in God ought to shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. All the above. It's that time in the service where we all can participate. It's giving time. Got real quiet again. Thank y'all, quiet people. Y'all all all right? That was y'all. That was the quiet clapping because that's all I heard. I said it's giving time. It's giving time. You know, you got to give back a portion of what he gave you because remember, you had nothing. You got to think about it like you had nothing. He blessed you with that job. He blessed you with them parents that left you all that money. You know, he blessed you when you won the lottery. You got to give some of it back. So you ought to be happy to give. Uh, Here at Mount Olive, we use the envelope system to give. And if you have them all filled out, I'd like you to raise them up. And please repeat after me. God, this is my gift. It is a seed that I plant in this ministry. I am expecting it to be a harvest in this ministry and in my life. I'm expecting it to be exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I can ask, all that I can think, and all that I can imagine. And Lord, I thank you that I'm able to give. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. All things come of thee. back to sleep yet you're going back to sleep on me again I thought we had that handle the last time all right you got to keep it pumped up it's preaching time it's preaching time 
It's time for a word on high. How many of y'all came here expecting something different? How many of y'all looking for a miracle? What? Today is the day. And we have somebody who's got a word from the Lord. It's coming from all the way up there and coming all the way down here. It's reaching out to you and to me and to him and her and everybody. And it's a word for edification of the soul. That's what it's about. Speak to my spirit, Lord. Well, I got somebody here that I know, all of y'all know that are not guests, that can bring a word. He slipped in, but I'm talking about the Reverend Dr. Mark Edward Crutcher. You know the man we honoring at 4 o'clock today? All of us supposed to come back and support. Y'all should be clapping. I'm talking about him. I, I make sure I throw it in there. Yeah. Yes. So I want you to reach out your hands to him toward the pulpit and just say, preach. Pastor, preach. We need a word. Amen. I haven't forgotten this choir. No. I just get all wrapped up when I'm thinking about hearing the word. But the choir is going to come first. And then I promise you, the preacher will come.
And now I want you to enjoy the voice of uh, the Reverend Gregory Teague. Amen. Amen. Y'all come on, give God a better praise than that right there. <clears throat> now, let me say something real fast. Let me do this right. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the way from Prince Hall Road to the Reverend Gregory T. Give him a hand. I got to try to sing for real. That was that 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 wasn't right at all. Uh, and I want y'all to pray upon his guilty spirit because that was there was truly some guilt in that right there. God, man, you don't mess me all up now. Nah, but let me uh, let me let me first say this though, real real, 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 real quick, like and in, in, in on the for real. Uh, I don't know who that was that was just now singing. I tried to recognize voices when I can. And, you know, my sight is limited, but let me say this real fast: like, God bless you for your gift, and keep on singing. Okay. I I I I, I know it gets. Let's call in. God bless you. Get well, though. I know who call in. And once y'all said the name, I know. You keep on. You 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 did you did good right there. Okay. God bless you. Amen. Y'all know what? I'm getting older now, and I can say stuff. <laughs> that I used to not be able to say. And now I can blame it on age. And you know, I forgot my Jinkova this morning, so if I mess up, um, you know what, I need every last one of you all to survive. You know, um, uh, my brother and I, we were talking as we were riding over, and you know, he's always saying something to just uh, uh, prick uh, my heart, and prick my spirit. And uh, I'm not going to tell you all what he said, but I promise you, he he said something to to prick my heart and uh, so then he asked me on the way in um, if 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 I was in in, in singing uh, mode at this time because he didn't want to mess up my recovery and I wanted to let him know that uh, you know when when a brother calls on you I don't care what kind of mode you're in, sometimes you just have to say yes. And um, um, because, you know, just like he may need me, I know for a fact I need him. And um, uh, you can do it in the regular key, Bobby. We'll be just fine. I need you to survive. We'll, we'll go old school because y'all just went so contemporary on me. I, I might as well do something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I need you. That's a good kick right there. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Ooh. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is his will every need would be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important. Important to me, and 
And I need you to survive. Can I get a witness in here this morning? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to minister to each other uh, because it's time for the word. And, 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 and so we, we all need to get our place to that place where God would have us ready to receive the word that he has for us on this morning. Can I get a witness? So, so amen. So here's what I need you to do. And hopefully everybody has gotten the breath mint. Y'all got your breath mint or had your halls or whatever. Cause I need you to find a partner. I need you to help me witness to a partner in the house. Just find one somebody. If you got to find two, that's fine. Just fine. That's fine. But y'all heard the words just now. I just sung them. And it's, and, and it's such a simple song. I'll do it one more time for you. Y'all go ahead on and give me the uh, uh, tempo. Who's on drums? Come on, Myron, give me the tempo, man. That's my boy. Listen to me one more time. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree. Let's do it one more time, y'all. Then we'll take it out and we'll take it to the next part. I need you. Say, I, I need you. Need me. You need me. We're all a part. Stand with me. And agree with me. This one thing we can agree. We're all a part of God's body. Hallelujah, that every need. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I hear you tell me one more time. You are important to me. Wait a minute, y'all, because y'all got to hear this part here just in case you don't have it. Listen here. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. I won't let with words from my mouth. I love you. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you. I won't harm you. With words from my mouth. I love you. I need you. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need it. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you, y'all. I need you. I need you. I need you. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to. It is his will, y'all. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. 
tell him one more time, you are important to me. Tell him one more time, you are important to me. I need you too. Can I leave y'all like this right here? I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I. Come on, give him a hand all over the house. You might as well stay on that battlefield until you die. Uh, the enemy won't quit until you die. So you might as well stay on that. My, 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 my Lord. Oh, let's give him another hand, amen. Brother, I miss that voice. Amen. I miss your gift of praise. Amen. My, my, my God. Thank you. And you prophetic too because I didn't tell you what I'm going to preach about. Mm -hmm. But in just a minute you'll see what I'm talking about. Wow, God. 
Mm. Mm. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we desire to stay on that battlefield. And Lord, we shall sure need each other. And we shall sure need you. So God, speak to us. Use what you created and speak to what you made. Then God, help us to receive it <laughs> and be receptive to what you say, obedient to what you will, and thankful for what you have done. Put your hand together and bless the Lord as you say amen. I'm going to draw your attention to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, starting at verse 1. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, am bound to the Lord's work. I beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, all long-suffering, bearing one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace therefore is one, there is one body and one spirit just as you were called in one hope of your calling there's one lord there's one faith there's one baptism and there's one god and father of all who is above all, I told y'all to look up this morning, who's above all and through all and in you all. My, my, my Lord. I had their love to say in the country, in y'all. I want to speak to you from this subject. Keep it together. Keep it together. The Bible tells us that there must be agreement in the body of Christ. The body says that we ought to keep the unity of the spirit in the body of Christ. And in order to keep unity in the body, there must be agreement. Mm. The song just said, agree with me. I agree with you. Mm. I need you. You need me. Mm. Mm. Together, we are God's body. We together. Mm. Separate, we some else. Mm. Lord, have mercy. And so that it says there must be agreement in the body. God says where two or three come together, touching and agreeing, he said, I will be in the midst. And so if you want to move God, you got to be in agreement with God, and there must be an agreement with each other. My, my God. And when we get into that agreement, God can do some miraculous and marvelous things. And that's why the enemy always wants to bring disagreement in the body of Christ, because he wants to break the unity and the power that God has given to the house. But there's something about when we agree together. The Bible said two can't even walk together unless they agree. Because if they're not in agreement, they're going to be bumping into each other all the time. And if they keep on, a fight going to break out after a while. And so, but when we can walk in agreement, we walk in unity and we walk in the power of God's might. Amen. And so it's important that we keep this agreement the agreement causes us to, to be able to go beyond our naturalness. Now, the truth be told, none of us is all of that in a bag of chips. Uh, for the Bible said all of us have fallen and all of us have come short of the glory. Uh, which means all of us got some in us that, to wreck us, to mess us up. All of us got some weakness and some flaws. Uh, all of us got some chips and crinks in, in our armors. All of us got some stuff that we need to let God work on. 
And, 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 and so because of that, we need each other. Sometimes one is strong and another one is weak. Sometimes one know and the other one don't know. And, and, so, and, and we have to help each other sometimes. Ah, oh, my God, my, my, my God. The blind man and the lame man can help each other. The blind man can see where the, 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 the lame man can see where to go, and the blind man is able to walk. So the blind man can pick the, the, the lame man up and help him to lean on him, and the lame man can show him which way to go. My, my God. So, so even when we both got faults, we can uh, take our faults, in, but, but even though we got faults, we got some strength in us that we can use to help us along the way. Uh, often talk about Bartimaeus. He was blind, but he sure enough can speak. Uh, and you have to learn to use what you have. And, and we have to all learn to work together and work in a unison to, in order to accomplish what we want to do. Uh, how many folk know that when you come together, you can do mighty things? Uh, w- 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 when they was building the Tower of Babel, uh, God said because the folk are one, He says, whatever they put their hands to, they can accomplish. And nothing will be withholden from them because they're in agreement. And so when we walk into agreement, we walk into the power of God. Because what happens is when we're in agreement with God and in agreement with each other, then what happens, the universe agrees with us. And when the universe agrees with us, nature will help us accomplish, the universe will help us accomplish the will of God. My God. Just said something, I'm like the bishop now. Uh, and, and, and so, but we, when we need to know how to line up. Uh, and so, the reason why we cannot accomplish some things we want to do, because we don't agree enough. Uh, and the disagreement is the only thing that stops us. And, and so, but when we agree, God will let cosmological forces help us do what we need to do. Forces in the universe that we don't even understand will come to our aid, come to our rescue, and help us do what we need to do. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. And so, so we need to line, make sure that we do that. But in order to be in agreement, we have to learn how to line up. One of the things when you get in the military, military do a lot of formation, formation and marching. Uh, there's a reason why they do that. They teach folk, first of all, how to line up. According to what your status and your position, you line up. And they teach folk how to line up with other folk. It teach you to move some of your individuality out the way and become a part of a group. Hmm, God. And, and, and so it teach you how to get some of your personal out the way and blend into the whole. And so and when you line up in formation, you have a position that you come in in that formation. And what you learn to do is keep your position even when you're moving. Mm. You learn to keep your position even when somebody's saying something to you. Mm. And, and what happens is you start marching. And, and you got orders that are given. Somebody give the order. You don't start marching on your own. Mm. You, you don't find that the company to just, just pick up in the platoon, just go to walking on their own. Somebody's got to give the command. And, and when somebody give the command, they all move out in a oneness. Mm, my, my, my God. And so, so they have to train the soldiers how to line up and how to march together. And while they're marching together, they have a cadence song that they sing that they begin to get a beat that they go along with. And, and, and so, and everybody knows what to do at the right time so that everybody wind up where they need to be. And, and so while you're going through the cadence and marching on and they're giving orders about what you need to do, the whole platoon do it. And so there are some orders that they will give where, where, where the platoon has to make a turn. Well, what happens is, but what you got to know, if you in the middle of the platoon, when the first ra- row makes the turn, you won't turn then. You're going to keep marching forward, and they're going to turn. And you keep marching till you get to the point where they turn. And when you get to the point where they turn, then you turn. Otherwise, you're going to run into each other. And so you have to realize that, how to know that sometimes one is turning and going, but you're going in that. But you realize that you're in agreement because you got a spot where you're going to make the turn. My, my God. And so, so we need to know how to line up. Mm. Uh, th- th- this, the difference between a magnet 
and a piece of iron is how the atoms line up. Both of them have atoms in it. Everything is made up of atoms. And, and, and so, but in a piece of metal, the atoms line up any way they want to. Disorder. Disarray. One line up this way, one line up that way, one line up that way, one line up that way. All kind of different directions. So, so, and even though they're together, they're not working in agreement. And every one of them atoms got electrical power. But you never know it because they cancel each other out. Because they're lined up in different direction, they cancel the power that's in each one of the atoms. But the atoms in a magnet would do something different. Uh, the atoms in a magnet all line up in the same direction. And because they line up in the same direction, they, they, they have power they release. Because when one release, another one releases, and they're releasing in the same direction. And rather than cancel each other out, they add to each other's strength. So, so you can take a piece of metal and put it over another one and nothing will happen. You put a magnet over there and hit it a draw. Mm. My, my, my God. And, 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 and so what happens is that because of the alignment in, in, the, in the metal. And so God is saying that we need to learn how to line up in the body of Christ. When we line up in agreement, uh, then God can use us. Uh, but when one wants to go one way and another wants to go another one, then we cancel each other out. Uh, one saying this and the other want to say that. See, we have to get past uh, I, I, what I got to say. The reality of the, we trying to find out what God got to say. Uh, this morning I heard God said something from a little child. That came to the office, she stood and, and waited till she wanted to see the pastor. She said, I got to have a meeting with the pastor today. And so, and she waited till she got, and the mother for one of me. And then when she came in, she said, Pastor, uh, I've got an idea uh, what you think we ought to do. So I said, Well, what's your idea? She said, Can we have the children do a show message? and speak to the folk and she said and I want to do one and I'm listening out of my for and then she said and she said pastor sometime can we too turn the light out and let people cry out and repent she said because sometimes they don't get the word even though it's spoken, they don't receive it. And sometimes we need to cry and repent. Well, I want you to know I'm in agreement with the Spirit. Now, then I asked her, and let me tell you something else. I asked her, I said, uh, girl, what's happening to you? Yeah, and she said, the Holy Spirit. Well, come, come Sunday morning, you'll have the first... A uh, message from the kids side. And if we turn out the light, you just repent of whatever you need to repent. Mm. Because I'm agree with God. And she went on to say some other thing to let me know the Holy Spirit was speaking to her. Because she talked about some stuff that Sister Gretchen and I were talking about just yesterday. Out of the mouth of babes come perfect praise. And what you got to do is you got to know how to line up with God when God speaks. You see, you, you see, but, but, but God don't always speak from the top. Mm. And that's the problem. Sometimes God don't speak from the top and, and we don't hear him. See, I, I, I couldn't get so, so much pastor that I can't hear God in a little child. Oh, he ain't tell me that, so I can't, I don't, uh-uh. Yes, he did. He told me through her mouth. And so we got to be in agreement with the Spirit and know God when you hear him and then know God is speaking. Mm, my, my, my God. And so, 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 so we have to line up. And then sometimes God will speak things that we don't even understand what God is speaking, but we got to line up anyway. And, and, and sometimes you're going places you don't even know where you're going, just like a soldier. Sometimes the soldiers don't know where they're going, but they know they got to fight when they get there. Mm. They, they, they know they got to, to follow the orders they've been given. And so when God give us orders, we got to be in agreement. Amen. 
For when we're in agreement, we have magnetic power. We have the ability, first of all, when you got that power working together, you got the power to do some stuff. First of all, you have the power to repel evil. See, magnets, you have the power to draw and repel. You can re repel evil. And God says, when you draw unto me, then you can resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Uh, he said, when you get close to me, then you can, can handle the devil and the devil will run from you. Uh, he said, when you get close to me, he said, first of all, wash your hand. Uh, uh, your, your, your hands ain't clean. Uh, you, you, you got, and then repent and draw unto me. He said, then I'll give you the power to handle the forces. Uh, when we line up with God, then we can handle and repel Satan out of our lives. Uh, the Bible said you can rebuke that devil, even though he's trying to mess with your stuff. And so we're able to, uh, to draw him away. And, and, and so the other thing you need to know this, uh, the closer you get to God, the more the devil will back off you. He might mess with you, but he'll back off you. And what he'll do from a distance, he'll get some imps to help him out come at you. Because he don't want to bother with you because he know the anointing of God is moving in your life. And how many folk anointing comes through relationship? You can have gifts and be the biggest devil in the world. But if you want the anointing to flow, you got to have some relationship. God said, you got to get and agree with me. And when you agree with me, I'm going to agree with you. And when I agree with you, we can do some marvelous things together. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. So you have the power to, but not only do you have the power to, to repair, but you have the power to draw. Uh, and, 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 and so, what you mean? You have the power to draw. I heard Jesus said, said, said if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. And, and Jesus proved that even as he was going through. Now, if you look at what the, the life of Jesus and when they put Jesus on trial, he began to do some things. First of all, they had him on trial and he converted uh, uh, the wife of a Roman procurator. For Pontius Pilate's wife told him she had the, the, the spirit was bothering her all night. She told her husband, don't bother this man. He's an innocent man. Hadn't done anything wrong. And, and you don't want to get caught to get the, up into this thing. And, and so he was able to reach a, a Roman procolator wife that had supposedly nothing to do with him. Uh, because he had the power to draw folks unto him. Even though they had him uh, uh, tied up. Even though they had him on trial. Even though they were misaccusing him. Even though they were false accusing him. Even though they were lying on him. He was still drawing folk unto them. And not only that, when they hung him on the cross, uh, the Bible said there was a thief on the cross uh, uh, that talked about him and railed him and picked at him. Uh, but somewhere on the cross, uh, the thief saw the way this man died because he died in agreement with his father. You remember when he was in the garden, he said, let this cup pass. Uh, but then I heard him say, uh, uh, not in my will, but thine will be done. Uh, that's how you get in agreement with God. Uh, you tell God it ain't about my will. Uh, it's not about what I want to do. Uh, it's what you want me to do. Uh, it's not about where I want to go, uh, but where you want me to go. Uh, it's not about what it, you, I want to give up, uh, but what you say give up. Uh, if you say don't, I don't. Uh, if you say do, I do. Uh, if you say sit, I sit. If you say stand, I stand. If you say move, I move. Just like that. And we have to learn to be in agreement with God. And when we line up with God, the power of God will line up with us. Jesus said, not my will, but thine will be done. So that when the thief cried out on the cross, said, Lord, I need you to remember me. When you come into glory, I heard him say, this day you shall be with me in paradise. He drew a thief that had never been to church, never read the word, never opened the Bible. A thief that didn't call on his name, but to pick on him. But at the last hour, the thief said, Lord, remember me in your glory. He drew him even in dying hour. That's what I love God so much. God can draw a thief. He can draw the procolator wife. He can draw the enemy. Thank you. And when you sit in and look at the text, you even see that when he died. And even after he died, his body hanging on the cross. 
Then done pissed him in the side. Blood and water come running out. And here it is, the, 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 the enemy, the Roman centurion, the, the captain of the God, the one who began the orders to put him on the cross, the one that said nail him to the cross, the one that said drive the spikes in his feet, the one that said hang him high. Uh, now, though, the same one is standing down below the cross looking at this Jesus uh, because what he done watch Jesus die, he done watch the circumstances, he done watch the situation, and my God, some go to happen to him. Uh, he get drawn. Uh, he a Roman, but he's getting drawn uh, to a Jewish rabbi. He he uh, he would he would he would, he would command it to kill the man, uh, but he's being drawn by the one he commanded to be put to death. Uh, and some about the way Jesus died. Uh, touched the man. You ever know he died in holiness. He died in righteousness. He died in agreement. He died in love. He died in humility. He died with power. He didn't die fighting to death, but he gave it up. Bible said he breathed his last breath. Heard him say, God, my father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. Uh, my God, uh, they said he died so much uh, that he called the earth uh, uh, to be able to get involved. Uh, the sun stopped shining. Uh, the earth began to shake. Uh, the rocks began to tremble. Uh, uh, the graves were broken open. Uh, uh, my God, because uh, he died uh, in agreement with the universe. Uh, he died uh, in agreement with the will of God. Uh, uh, he died uh, in agreement with God's word. Uh, he died uh, in agreement with purpose. Uh, uh, my God, uh, uh, my God, uh, say when you line up uh, and keep it together uh, uh, with me, uh, let nothing uh, uh, separate you. Uh, he said uh, the universe uh, uh, come to your aid. A uh, uh, power, uh, a power, uh, a power of my God. I will help you out. Of my God. Anybody out there know that God is. I heard the centurion say, Surely, surely, this man, surely, was the Son of God. Of my God. The enemy gave the first confession. Uh, my God, I uh, dying on the cross uh, when you got the power uh, to die uh, and draw folk uh, in your death. Uh, uh, my God, uh, my, my God, my Lord uh, said nothing, uh, nothing uh, will stop you. Ooh. Come on, give God a hand all over the house. Touch somebody say, he died so sweet that even his enemy had to love him. Ooh, he died so sweet the devil couldn't stand it. He died so sweet the world had to be affected. He died. Anybody know he died? He died for me and for you. He died for us my god but i heard him say it's finished it's over with oh uh, my god you didn't had your time satan but this thing over with now you didn't held my folk long enough but it's over with now oh uh, my god if i can use my imagination i, I see jesus going back to moses said moses acts Pharaoh to turn my people loose. But devil, I ain't gonna ask you. A death I ain't gonna ask you. A grave I ain't gonna ask you. Oh my God, I got a commandment. I'm going down there I'm myself. And you're gonna have to let them go. It ain't in your hands. I ain't asking now. Cause I got the power of my father. I got the power of the universe on my side. I got the power of the stars 
the sun and the moon and the earth on my side of my God. When you agree with God and keep it together, my God, I make a way out of nowhere. Say yeah. But know this, when you're trying to keep it together, you're going to always have naysayers, bite biters, negative minded, uh, folk along the way, discouragement. And when he was on the cross, somebody was hollering, won't you come down and save yourself? If you be the Christ, come down. Show us you got the power to get off the cross and we'll follow you Oh my God, but Jesus knew he had to keep it together. He couldn't follow the world and follow his God. Couldn't do what the crowd wanted and honor his God. Sometimes you got to let the crowd get out your way. Sometimes you got to get the naysayers out of your ear. Oh my God, you got to tell them I'm going to serve God if I got to serve him by myself. If ain't nobody going to serve with me, I'm still going to serve. I'm going to serve him until I die. That's why the songwriter said, I'm going to stay on the battlefield until I die. I ain't going to let fear run me off. I ain't going to let trouble make me quit. I ain't going to let problems uh, make me doubt. Uh, I'm going to stay on uh, uh, the battlefield uh, until I die. Uh, I'm going to keep it together. Uh, I'm going to keep the faith. Uh, I'm going to run the race. Uh, I'm going to finish the court. Uh, and my God, uh, my God, uh, I heard Paul. Uh, I heard him say, uh, I let uh, uh, nothing uh, uh, separate me uh, from the love of God that's in Christ. Anybody out here that's inseparable. You can't shake me. You can't make me. You can't take me. Because my God, my God got me. My God got a hold on me. And I can't let go. I'm hooked. Hog tie. And Carla. Woo! Somebody, tell them to keep it together. The devil wants you to quit, but keep it together. I know you're about ready to throw in the towel, but God said, don't give up. Oh, my God, I heard him say, they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. You might have been waiting, but my God said, don't give up. It ain't over yet, but the power of my God, anybody out there, I trust God to bless you, trust God to hold you, trust God to lift you up, anybody out there, know that God got all power, all power, all power in his hand. to me this morning. Yes, Staying on the battlefield. You got to stay on the battlefield. Let me tell you. No matter what. No matter how hard the wind blows. 
No matter how hard the enemy comes, you got to stay on the battlefield. And, 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 and the way you stay on the battlefield, I, 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 want, I just want, to, want, to, want you to help me here. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I know I've been because I want you to stand on your feet all over this house. Oh, I, I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed, Lord. I know I, because. If you don't believe I've been redeemed, the angels, come on church, just follow me down to Jordan Street, the angels. Oh, I we've been changed I'm going to trust in now 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 if you 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 believe you've been changed then you trust in the Lord and then you stay on the battlefield pastor preach power 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 and if you feel this is your day, your time right now, come on down here. If you feel that the Lord has touched you, touch your sisters and brothers. Stay on the battlefield. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Ah, this young man, he knows that he's been changed. He's been touched. He's not only coming for prayer, he's coming to join the body of Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Glory to God. Come on here. All over the house. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Stay on the battlefield. Stay on the battlefield. I don't care how hard it gets, no matter what may come your way, stay on the battlefield until you die. Trust. Is there anyone else? Don't be afraid. You have power that you don't know you have. Power. God just. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Power. Power. Keep it lifted up. Keep it lifted up. Keep it lifted up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. In the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Don't let it be, Lord. 
It's all right. It's all right. Lord, we thank you. God's got it in you. God's got it in you. See, once God changes your soul, your whole body and your mind gets changed. Your way of thinking changes. Your way of believing changes. And then it enables you to just stay on the battlefield. Glory to God. Church, okay. I just need to announce. Thank you. 
that out while we were waiting on Pastor.
Mount Olive, we thank and praise God for the blessings. This morning we have been blessed with Brother Wayne Bailey, who uh, wishes to become a member of Mount Olive ME Church. He wishes to join our family. Amen. 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 All right. Those of you who received the pledge cards, if you tear them off and return them to the ushers, we would like to collect those before you leave today. Amen? And if you need voter registration forms, I have them here. So please see me in the narthex immediately after service. Amen? Amen. just for being God Almighty. Thank you so much. By the shed blood of Jesus, we're so thankful for everything. Let us praise God from whom all blessings flow. of his presence let's keep it together hmm. ask now that the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ love of God sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with us now henceforth and forevermore and now unto him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask we thank or imagine according to the power of God that works in us to him be glory, power, and majesty, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, let all of us say, Remember, I need you to come back at four. 